so I got to play in the frozen dead weight. So yeah, they're dead weight. They're frozen. And they have to wait. In the heart of a blizzard where the winds howled like tormented souls and the snow fell relentlessly, Thomas Harding ventured forth, driven by desperation and fear. His daughter Emily had vanished into the white abyss, leaving behind only a chilling emptiness in their remote mountain cabin. Hey, it was hardening. Can you eat it? Wow. That's smooth. Where's my cabin? Hmm. It kind of seems like it's hard to get lost here. Yeah. It's, it's only a straight line. I'll brave the storm, the cold, anything I have to find. Her, my Emily. Okay. Left a lantern. It's getting dark. I should use my lantern. Who left a note? I can't read that. Uh, it's like fish and left and right and other things. Some weirdos trying to get a colt in the middle of the mountains. Or woods. Uh, but what was that? Emily? October 10, 1923. Tonight the w blizzard rages with unmatched fury. We've decided to brave the treacherous journey westward to seek refuge in a cabin. I cannot shake the feeling of unease that grips my heart. There are whispers in the wind and shadows that dance in the corners of my vision. May the gods protect us. Francis Blackwood. Blackwood. Uh... Oh, I thought that was a bear trap. Ooh, investigate. An abandoned camp, its former occupants gone in a hurry. What prompted their sudden departure? Oh, no. A cup. A cup. <laughs> uh, empty cooking pot? Alright. So, we're in 1923? Yay. Long ago in the 1900s. Emily, is that you? You got skinny. Dead and covered in strange crystalline frost. I wonder what they could have been doing here. Huh. Uh, sleeping on the ground. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, key. key. Oh. Hey. Uh, dead and covered in the strange crystalline frost. I wonder what they could have been doing here. Well, this one was holding a key and it stared at me. Yeah. It was just the way it just fell that way, his head. His one job was to keep the uh, key safe, and then he looked at you. Yeah. Yeah. Let it be known that Brother Jacob, under the guidance of our revered high priest, shall forever carry the key to the locked box housing one of the sacred seals. Let this reminder serve as a beacon of our dedication to safeguarding the secrets of our ancient rites. Uh, may our devotion remain unwavering the order of the Frostbound. Devotion. Right, so that one was, there was Brother Jacob and other. Brother Jacob in the... Uh, a statue of a monster with ice-like flesh. It, it's frozen crystalline features glistens maniacally menacingly filling me with unease. Okay, let's so, open the box. Cthulhu looking thingy. A There's record? a record? Oh, a it's seal. a seal. A, a vinyl seal? Yeah. Or We have protected this vinyl record for years. It was actually Brother Jacob's single. Hmm. It was terrible. We had to seal it away. And then back here. Mm, doesn't look like I'm just gonna go this way. Are you running? Yeah. It may be slow, but it's still running. Another dead body? At least he tried to bury himself. October 17th, 1923. I pen this morning as I flee from the cursed heart of these woods. James, my dear companion, succumbed to madness, consumed by his obsession. In his frenzy, I ended his torment and buried him by the cabin, the key to the lockbox with him. Leave it undisturbed, lest you unleash horrors upon the world, Francis Blackwood. Wait, so it doesn't look pretty buried. I got a shovel. His skin is unnaturally frozen, covered in a strange... And... Do we go that way? Okay, we're gonna fight a boss right now. Going through the fog. No. Oh, okay. No, it's just... It's uh, just a very... <laughs> someone's using a very powerful snow machine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're fighting a boss before me, but I'm okay with that. Brother Jacob. You always loved your snow machines. 
And also fighting Dark Soul bosses. Or Bloodborne bosses? All that too. Emily must be near. I must get to her. But I forgot about her. Well, I heard her say male. Okay, so it's the same. Nope. Oh. So we're supposed to find the body? Oh, I'm going around a perimeter just in case. There's a cabin. I got the cabin key. Cabin. Oh, there's blood in here. Oh, I can't no, close it. It stays open. Read. October 15th, 1903. The shadows whispered dreadful truth, urging me to unlock the pulsating secrets within the lockbox, William. My son beckons alive and uh, awaiting rescue, Francis. Doubts, but I must stay. He seeks escape. I seek reunion. I will not be swayed. James Whitaker. Whitaker? Yeah, James Whitaker. Whitaker's Ooh, blood. blood. Dry blood. What violent events transpired here? Blood. Related. I wrote this entry with a heavy heart. My companion James ventured out into the storm yesterday. His resolved unyielding despite the dangers that lurk beyond our cabin door. Supplies dwindle and the relentless howl of the wind carries an eerie symphony of ice and bone breaking. <coughs> ice and bone breaking. Yeah. Francis Blackwood. Yeah, Blackwood again. The storm has abated. James returned amidst the fading blizzard in his mind lost to madness. He spoke of seeing his son, William, a vision that defies reason. William has been dead for years, clutching a lockbox. His eyes gleamed with insanity. Though the winds have calmed, I feel trapped in an inescapable nightmare. <laughs> so there's a lockbox, but we need to uh, unbury him. The last of the wood. All right. The wood burning stove. Right, so where's his body? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Use yes. shovel. Picked up silver key. Okay. Let's see what's inside. More vinyl. Another seed. Oh. Um. I got a chair with your name on it. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Oh. He ran in the snow. Is his body still there? No, he ran. No. It's like. No, he left blood. An empty bloody grave. How are you still bleeding? Oh, no. Well, yeah, he ran away. Okay, so where do we put these two things? Right there? No. Oh, I circled around. Uh, so we have two of the things? Mm hmm. That we're supposed to put somewhere? No, that was new. Can I place it here? Uh. Where do I place? The monolith radiates calmness, replacing disjointed whispers with a divine purpose, finding Emily. Which yeah, where's Emily? I can't put a seal here. Hmm, hmm. I got two vinyls and no record player. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Another path, or is that the same? Oh, oh. here, there. Insert. Insert. Uh, the. Hey, we turn off the machine. I'm so smart. I uh, did. Uh. Hello, sirs. Hey, even he's here. Huh. What are you? Oh, there's your daughter standing on the vinyl. She's a stick. Investigate her. Oh, uh, here you go. Nope. Uh, why are you so tiny? Yeah, you're all weird looking. You too. Well, she's the only non-blue one. And also Mumra over there. <laughs> Emily, is that you? Well, she's a teleporter. Oh, oh, they closed off my path. Oh, we got sacrifice. Huh. Steve Pixel. Retro Spud. <laughs> Pizza Doggy. That sounds familiar. What? Yeah, there's supposed to be the three endings, but how do we get the other two? Uh, I don't know. Because we were <laughs> supposed to find a way through there, so... How are we not supposed to? I really don't know. I can't open things with shovel. Yeah. I don't know how you would get the other ones, but... Then I can't just leave. Yeah. Okay, see you guys next time, then. Bye.